Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. Today I want to share with you my personal story of how uh, I have managed the finances. My husband and I have managed finances without coming to that point where finance becomes a tool of abuse. I know many people don't even know that there is something like financial abuse. Uh, many people don't know that um, money can determine how long your relationship would last. Money can determine the quality of your relationship. Money can determine whether there is going to be a side chick or no side chick. Money will determine so many things in that marriage. The effect of that money depends on how, uh, how well you handle, how well you handle money, uh, money what, money effects, financial challenges or financial blessings, how you manage them. Well, uh, before I share with you my story of, of managing finances in the home, let's look at uh, one or two things. Um, to have a joint account or not to have or to have a separate account, joint account for the couple or separate account. And then um, how financial, how someone becomes financially abused. Okay, financial abuse. Let me first explain that one. Financial abuse is when uh, someone makes it so difficult, okay, so difficult for you to enjoy the money that you have worked for. How does it come? Now, the man goes, he makes the money, you're staying at home, you're a stay-home mother, and out of frustration, you want to know every single money that he makes, even up to the last point. Or maybe it is the man, he wants to know how much she earns and, you know, how much she spends it. You know, someone wants to know so much that at the end of the day, you even feel guilty to spend your own money. You feel guilty to help anyone. You feel guilty hmm, even to share anything with your people at home because the wife is asking or the gentleman is asking. And maybe how do we handle uh, challenges where the wife has so much money and the man has very little, or the man has too much money and the wife has very little? Does it happen that uh, the one who earns more money belittles the other one who earns less? Or um, does the person earning so much money uh, become so proud and abusive? Does the person who earns little money in the relationship, in that marriage, the person who earns little money, it's likely that they can also be... Uh, they will lose their self-esteem. If it is a man and the wife is earning so much money, he can keep referring it, oh, your money. You don't respect me because of that money. You know you, every time it is about your money. But he will even make you feel so guilty, so guilty about you spending your own money. You will feel guilty about buying a new dress, you know, about buying a new shoe. He will read to you how expensive it is. Oh, my God. And at the end of the day, you really feel so abused because you earn the money. Now, there are also uh, cases where the gentleman earns so much money and then all of a sudden he's looking at um, the wife, he's looking at his wife as uh, of not so much importance. You know, she will ask for something and the man will ask, do you know how to make the money? You know, all you do is spend. You do not know how to make the money. You're just spending. Stop talking about money. All that you can talk about is money. And so the poor woman feels so guilty. Hmm? Guilty even to ask for money to buy things for the house. That is what we call financial abuse. Before I share with you a story again, let's look at... Um, what are the advantages of having a joint account and what are the disadvantages? Number one, when you have a joint account, you will be 
accountable to each other because you know how much money has gone out, how much money has come in, and if the wife is asking for anything, she will definitely know how much money is on the account. If the man wants to spend, he will know how much both of you have. And so accountability is going to be good. Uh, and then um, after that accountability, then they can be well planning, good planning, good planning for your finances. You know, when you're pulling resources together, it's not going to be easy for other people who come to get money from one of you. If the money is on the joint account, the people who come to spend that money will find it difficult because both of you are accountable to each other. And so unnecessary expenditures will not happen, will not happen in this uh, marriage or this relationship. So you will avoid unnecessary expenditures, you will plan very well, you will pull your resources together. If you want to build a house, you will work together to make sure that you achieve that. Now, there is something that people overlook. These are bank account charges. You know, they keep taking 30,000, next month it's 15, then you withdraw it's 50, then, you know, like at the end of the month, you find you have lost like 100,000, hmm? 50 or 100,000, depending on how you withdraw, on how you withdraw from the bank. And so the money goes and, uh, and you lose it. And uh, when you have a joint account, it means it's one account that is being charged. The charges are applying to monies earned by two people. So instead of losing 100,000 on each account, if the account is joint, you will not lose 200,000 for the two separate accounts. You will lose only 100,000 for uh, the joint account. Now, why? Should one have, so where, under what circumstances should one uh, have separate accounts? Well, if someone's salary was already going to one account, it's not necessary to change. You know, you just keep separate accounts, but allow each other to, to watch over, uh, to know what happens in the other account, but not over monitoring, okay? So don't uh, do over-monitoring of someone's account even when um, they have separate accounts. Now, the advantage of separate accounts is just it is ease. Just ease. The account was already there. Maybe you're saving for one particular project and you have allowed each other to save. Then at a certain point, you put money together. Now, how did we handle finances in my marriage? When we, when we had just gotten married, I was like a monitoring spirit. <laughs> I monitored how much he earned, how much he spent. I would fight for 5,000. I would do whoever asked for any money from him would be my enemy. And you know, we fought and quarreled over money. And so when he got tired of the fights, he gave me the ATM card. Remember the bank account that we had? We had opened a joint account where I was not even contributing so much. But he gave me the right to withdraw money. Um, like, it doesn't require both people to be present. So I could go in, do the check, and, and come out. And I spent money. I spent money wrongly. I would tell him I'm getting money for shopping, and I would spend. Spend in the wrong way. Spend on the wrong things. Spend on unnecessary things. Like I would have so many things there which I, I didn't need. And being the kind of man that he is, he would look at me and he would say, oh, so now that the money is finished, what are we going to live on for the rest of the month? And of course I would quarrel, you know, try to say, oh, you don't want me to spend. How come for you you spend? You know those excuses. But he let me spend. Then later on, I learned how to save. I learned how to budget. He let me spend, and he kept talking. Now, I reached a point, and I was tired of spending. I was tired of finishing the money before the month ends. I was tired of, oh, you know, like you spend all the money, and you have these white elephants around the house, things you don't need, things you're not going to use uh, very soon. 
So when I got tired and he had left me, of course I became so guilty. I became guilty and I stopped the spending and I kept quiet and then I learned my lesson. Now let me tell you, so many years down the road, so many years down the road, me the person who they let to spend, I can guarantee you I am no longer a big spender. And so men, if your wife is a big spender, give her some benefit of doubt. Don't destroy your relationship because of just money. I mean, I've been married now for 30 years. My husband knows whether I have um, an ATM card to his account. I have his PIN number. The account is the, um, either of us, you know. I can get money whether he's there or he can get money whether he's not there. Either of us. He's not worried. He's not worried that I'm going to go there and pick money which I don't need. If I picked it, then I need it. So he's not worried about me picking money. He's not hiding his 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 wallets. He is not um, lying to me about how much he earns because you know I am free. I overcame. And so as I leave for you this last word, ladies, overcome, overcome the the torturing your husband for money. And gentlemen, overcome. When your wife is earning so much, learn to live with it. That is both your money. Of course, it becomes difficult if the husband or the wife is saying, oh, my money, it's me who does this, it's me. And in most cases, it is women. If she pays rent once, she will sing about the rent. If she paid school fees, she will sing about the school fees. So ladies, if you pay, you're doing it for your family, you're doing it for your friend, you're doing it for the children. And money should never wreck your relationship. None of you should be a victim of financial abuse. Money should be something that oils relationship. The moment you turn out to uh, say it is your money, you're the one working, you're the one doing this, it becomes a big challenge and the marriage goes, the relationship goes. Now, as I conclude, you need to choose. Is it money that is very key or the relationship that is very key? If the relationship is very key, money is going to be an oil to make that relationship better. If it is money that is important, then I guarantee you the marriage will go. So choose, is it money? Is it relationship, the marriage? Are you going to manage a joint account? Are you managing separate accounts? Are you going to be a financial abuser? Are you going to swell it is your money and pride around with it and destroy that relationship? The choice is yours. If it's the relationship you want, choose your relationship and let money work for you. And kindly remember to subscribe, remember to like, remember to leave me a comment. And for now, God bless you. Thank you so much. Come again.